What's up everybody? This is another airdrop video. It is airdrop season. You do not want to miss out on this free money. You also want to make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any opportunities and more important, airdrops. So we dropped a ton of airdrop videos last week from the Sui airdrop, the Shardium airdrop, and five crypto bridges, which MetaMask was included. You definitely don't wanna miss out on the MetaMask airdrop. I think that's gonna be huge. Also, we're giving away $25 to a random commenter on this video. It's a bear market or I would be giving hundreds, but we're gonna work our way back up there. So this is Orbiter Finance. It's an L2 bridge and you can also provide liquidity but you can do so now it is coming soon with these protocols you want to get in early you want to do as many transactions as possible you want to just test everything join the community and just try and qualify for the largest airdrop possible we're going to just bridge um some crypto to another chain we'll do from eth chain to the polygon chain before we do so i'm actually going to do a swap of the usdt i have right here so if we go to assets usdt swap and we'll swap that for ethereum so we can actually start bridging um, from one network to the other i also love to do the swaps within metamask because this will potentially qualify us for a larger airdrop when metamask does release their token so I try to do as many swaps inside of MetaMask, especially since it's an aggregator as well. So it potentially will get me the best price. When this has converted to Ethereum, so swap complete, we're going to start um, bridging over our Ethereum to different networks. Let me just refresh the page and awesome. So my Ethereum is here right now. We are going to send that over to Polygon Network. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's swap one point, let's bridge 1.63 Ethereum to the Polygon Network. You can see right here, gas fee saved, approximately seven cents up to 0, 0.00 and time spent 45 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to confirm and send. It says, please do not modify the transaction or remove the last four digits on the transfer amount in MetaMask as this will cause a transaction to fail. I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and do this right here confirm and that is our first transaction we're bridging from the ethereum network to the polygon network and as soon as this is finished we'll do a few more transactions awesome the transaction has completed it was actually very quick now we're going to go ahead and send the eth from the polygon network um to a different network so let's switch over to polygon right here and let's go to arbitrum so let's go max amount of ethereum we're going to send that from polygon to arbitrum um the fee is a little bit more but time spent 30 seconds save three hours awesome so let's go ahead and do that we're going to confirm and send this same thing um so you can see 1.63 eth and that will cost us very cheap 0.0001594 matic let's go ahead and confirm that and bam now we've sent it from ethereum to polygon from polygon to arbitrum we might do another one or two and then we'll wrap it up from there just do as many transactions as possible when the lp is open when we can actually deposit funds and provide liquidity i'll also do that as well i'll potentially make a new video on how to do so so we can try and qualify for the largest airdrop or just one uh, altogether. so you can see how quick that was that was like 10 seconds or so we have done from polygon to arbitrum so let's go back to the bridge so now we have arbitrum up here let's send that to the optimism network so we're going to do uh, our 1.64 eth and we're going to bridge that over to the optimism network it says save seven days i'm not sure which bridge took seven days but definitely don't want to wait that long let's go ahead and send this through and then we will do the last transaction from optimism back to the main net so there we have it this is our third transaction from eth to polygon polygon to arbitrum arbitrum to optimism then we're going to do optimism to the main net and we'll call it a day i'm going to convert the ethereum back into usdt within my metamask app and i'm just trying to farm as many airdrops as possible so we'll wait this we'll wait for this to finish and then we'll hop on to the last 
uh, transaction, the last step. Wow, that was pretty quick as well. So let's switch from OP, uh, from Arbitrum to OP. Let's go back here. Let's do this to the mainnet, Ethereum, and Arbitrum. No, we were on OP. That's where we sent it. Max, awesome, send. This is actually very quick and very cheap. So confirm and send. We're sending it back to the mainnet now. And there we have it. You can take a look. That'll cost us five cents. We're sending 1.64 Ethereum back to the Ethereum mainnet. And as soon as this has done, we have done like four transactions across four different networks. So I think that is pretty good and a decent amount of ETH over 1.5 Ethereum. I'm not sure if volume counts. Uh, but sometimes it does bring you into different tiers if you're doing like hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars um, in relation to like a thousand dollars or 50 bucks. So I'm not sure they don't ever post the airdrop criteria because a lot of people try to game it. But this was fairly easy. One bridge. You want to also make sure to check out the video with five bridges, MetaMask included. You don't wanna skip out on the MetaMask airdrop for sure. So if we look at our MetaMask right here, 1.659 Ethereum, we have just done a ton of transactions. So if we look at history, I'm very happy with that. That was very quick, very cheap, and hopefully we qualify for the Orbiter um, airdrop. They also have L2 data here, which we can take a look at. One, two, three, four. You can see all the different networks we jumped to from ETH to Polygon, Polygon to Arbitrum, Arbitrum to OP, OP to back to the mainnet. And this is the L2 data. You can take a look at the volume. You can take a look at the daily transactions, ARB and OP taken over. And that's like a huge leap, 10x, higher than ZK Sync. Then you can take a look at all the protocols on here as well, all of them, the top protocols on each different network. That's a quick video on the Orbiter airdrop. Make sure to check out all the other airdrop videos. If you have any airdrops, post them in comments. If you have any other opportunities, also share that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.